provide rubbish bins and discipline those who don't comply. That's the resounding tone of residents, traders and passerbys at the heart of Kwame Nkrumah's circle, where filth is not a strange element at all. They tell Joe News they do their best to sweep and clean gutters, but lack of beans make it very difficult for them to keep the place clean. There's more in our episode of Filth Exhibition, exhibition followed by Hannah Odami. The verdicts of these residents and traders at the Farm and Commerce Circle is as some of many others Joy News spoke to. Yes, they are aware of the filth in which they live and sell, but the solution, according to them, lies in the authorities who have to provide them with rubbish bins. This place, people choose to throw rubbish anywhere and anyhow. So we need that space so that people will find it difficult throwing rubbish on the floor. Just look at how nasty it is to see the heat of rubbish in the middle of the road. The people from AMA sweep the area, but how the rubbish is collected is not the best. Rubbish containers are needed to keep all garbage collected. Just see how people throw rubbish on the floor, just because there is no dustbin. As an average joint, be a more baller container. Oh, baller go ano. Oh, my ambassador, sir. As an ambassador, I know I better protect the baby. Ah, me knew the air also. Even after collection, the nauseating stench that fills the air in the immediate surrounding is not befitting for a city centre. Reason why some are calling for stringent measures to deal with persons who litter the area. When it rains, you can't even pass by this area because you will see how the rainwater will expose the littered rubbish all over and the stench from the gutter rubbish is overpowering. I suggest that the policemen stationed under the bridge discipline those who throw rubbish away carelessly. Government to try for us because everywhere is dirty. Uh, when you go to even Accra, Sekuye, I cannot even mention some many, many places, you see. They are dirty, maybe job you organize the Zoom Lion, they should be packing it early so that it will be clean. Because when you are using the odor, it can give you some uh, bad cholera or disease. But you know, uh, government should just try to put people around so that there will be monitor everywhere. And people too, they should give people warning. They should not put gola inside the gutter or the environment. They should keep everywhere clean. Whilst they wait for governments, perhaps they can take a cue from their fellow traders right opposite them who have devised a strategy to keep their surroundings clean. We are a group of traders who have chosen to keep our environment clean. We don't rely on government at all to keep our environment clean. And when we get in of our members flouting the rules, we punish the person to ensure that everyone complies. Oprah 